This video is sponsored by Autodoc. Has your car broken down? Are you looking for spare parts? Where is the best place to buy them? Shop at Autodoc. Any car parts you may need are available whenever convenient for you and are just a few clicks away in any European country. Go to autodoc.co.uk and order your parts today. Summer's gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body all so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud Girl, you should wear a name tag Cause all I wanna do is to know your name Girl, you should wear a name tag That's the only way that I can't your name Sense of things, these microphones. 
Right, come on out, Kev. Oh, I don't know whether you want to get your cameras going, guys, at the same time. You're all right. Oh, it's just automatic, is it? Fantastic. These guys are very switched on. Nice to see you, Kev. Yeah, and you. It's a pleasure to be back again. Good to be here. Now, you're actually based this weekend over underneath the commentary box, aren't you? Yes, we're down in the back cave. Um, just come on, come over and see us, have a chat, say hello. Tell me what you've been up to then in the last 12 months, because it's been a busy 12 months for you. Yeah, it's been really busy. This is our fourth truck fest this year. Um, been doing a lot more with uh, manufacturers, uh, been doing a lot with DAF, Volvo, Renault, and uh, with yourselves, with Mercedes. Been busy doing the uh, the new Actros and doing that in coverage and, you know, uh, making videos on the, uh, the trucks. So, yeah, it's been really good. We have to talk about it, <laughs> because it's here. In fact, it's uh, definitely here. What do you think? Uh, Oh, it's fantastic. I love it. Miracam, uh, multimedia system, um, predictive powertrain control, all that sort of stuff. Love it. It's brilliant. And, and massive help on the road. Lo yeah, it's really, really good. And massive step in technology for trucks. One of the things that we've been hearing from a lot of people, they think, oh, it's going to be bashed because it sticks out a bit, although it doesn't stick out any further than mirrors. Other things are saying, what if they break down, that sort of thing. But things move on, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah, yeah. And I think, especially with the trucking industry and truck technology, they tend to be quite far behind, um, you know, a lot of other sectors. So it's nice to see Mercedes sort of, you know, pushing the boundaries a little bit, doing something a little bit different and, and bringing this sort of technology to the trucking world. You've actually got a vlog about the, the new Mercedes on your site, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. I've got a couple. Um, I've done one with uh, City West, uh, where we went out in the, uh, and demonstrated the mirrors and, uh, you know, the predictive powertrain control. Um, yeah, really good, really enjoyed doing it. And uh, I also went to Mercedes HQ um, and done a bit on the, uh, the new Actros up there. So that was a nice experience. What are the other big things that have happened in the trucking world over the last 12 months that uh, have sort of lit your candle sort of thing? Um, to be honest, uh, we've uh, we've done quite a bit of coverage with the uh, the new Volvo with the XXL cab. It's got the extra bit, extra large cab. Um, but I think the the new Actros has been the highlight. To be fair. Wow, that's good news. Now you've brought uh, some of your mates with you. Uh, let's bring them out one at a time. We've got Luke C here in the HGV. Come on, Luke, big Luke, come on. You are the man. How's it going, mate? Yeah, not bad, mate. How are you? Good to see you again. Good to see you. How many miles have you been driving this year in your uh, daytime job? Oh. <laughs> I, I mainly do local work, so I wouldn't say as many as some of the other guys, but yeah. But you're still keeping your followers up? Yeah, yeah, gaining uh, subscribers quite healthily, so all good on that front. Highlights for your year? How much? Highlights for your year? Uh, we did some filming recently with a manufacturer, really looking forward to that video coming out soon. Um, I think it's going out next week, actually. Um, so yeah, that... Can we hear any... Who's it with? Uh, that was with DAF, uh, we've done the uh, driver challenge. So um, yeah, when that video comes out, check it out, because uh, it's, it's quite funny. Have you tried the new Actros? I, the first time in my Actros was today, today. But in a couple of weeks, um, I am actually getting one uh, for a week. So, going to do some filming on that. And how are things going here at the Truck Fest? It's amazing. We've got a great turnout today. Uh, I think it's better today than what it was yesterday. Yesterday, the weather was a little bit dull. But we had, we had plenty of visitors yesterday, plenty today. And uh, yeah, it's going really well. This is becoming a, a regular outing for you guys now, isn't it? Because you went to Peterborough. Where else have you been? Edinburgh. And one other. Where, where was the other one? Or have you got one to go? Go to? Uh, no, we went, so we went to Shepton Mallet last year, uh, we've been obviously here this year, we went to Scotland and uh, Peterborough. I, I went to Malvern as well, but uh, unofficially. Ah, it was an unofficial visit. Well, thanks very much for having a chat to us, mate. Thanks very much for coming over and seeing us. Who else have we got here? We've got Martin Jenkins, have we? AKA Trucker Jenko? Yeah, here he is. <laughs> this is our local man, because you drive for Keepwells, don't you? Uh, used to, not. Ah. Oh, well then the info, so, so what's happening? Uh, well, um, a couple of things uh, with work, uh, just changed uh, companies, I'm now working for Cardiff Container Link in Cardiff itself, and uh, really enjoying it, really enjoying it. What sort of loads are you hauling? Um, containers, it's all container work, so it's all in the container, never know what's in there. Oh, it? absolutely, it could be anything, <laughs> couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's good, it's still good for content, so uh, I'm the new guy with the, with the five of us, so uh, yes, I've only been doing it a year, so I'm getting on, just getting there. What made you want to get into it? Um, well, basically, I had a hiatus away from the industry. Um, I was bus driver and inspector for 10 years, held my license for 22 years, and the last time I drove a truck, it was all 
taco disc, there was no taco cards. So I thought, I'll have a look on YouTube. And I came across these lads. Uh, found Luke first, then Jay, then Kev, um, and then Scott. And they took me under their wing as well. And, but I thought, if they can do that for me, can I do that for anyone else? And bring people into the industry and you know, help to show people what goes on when you're out and working. And, and that's what it's done. Um, and that's why I started. The boys took me under their wing. And it's uh, it's just gone on from there. Uh, in a year, 7,200 subscribers. So I'm not, I'm not doing too bad. That's absolutely brilliant for a year, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'm really impressed with it. And how did you get on with all the technology of, 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 of making these vlogs up? Um, it's quite, I, I use quite a simple um, editing suite compared to these guys. They use a really complicated one. I can't get my head around it. Too, I'm too old for it now. So, But I, I use a good editing suite and it's nice and simple. So I get around it. A couple of hours and it's done. What are your favourite things to vlog about? Um, anything and everything, really. Um, I like showing the manoeuvring, um, what we actually do during the day, uh, containers coming on and off at the moment when I'm working with containers, and people find it you know, interesting. And if I can show people how we do things with regards to tacos and whatever else, we try our best. In your daytime work, are you driving a particularly make, make or model of vehicle? I'm driving an Actros at the moment. You are? Yes, at the moment. Uh, and is, is it, it's not the, the latest one? It's not the latest one. It's, it's a 19 plate, uh, but it's not the new, no, the new mirrorless Actros. And how are you getting on with it? Uh, it's good, yeah. Um, gearbox in the 19 plate, I used to have a, a 14 plate before that one, and the 19 plate has improved a lot uh, with the gearbox. Um, but yeah, it's comfortable, good ride. It, nothing stands still nowadays, does it? You, you have to move forward or you get left behind. That's it, yeah. And I, I've yet to have a look at the uh, the mirrorless scam yet, so it's, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing that. You must have a look. Thank you very much for having a chat to do, and, and well done with everything that you're doing. Scott Andrews is here as well. Afternoon, Scott. Come on out, mate. I think if we move just a little bit further forward, we might not get uh, so much whistling. So how's your year been? Oh, it's been amazing, to be fair. Like, after meeting these guys at this show last year, it's just my, my channel's blown up. How do you? How does? How does it register uh, the number of uh, followers that you have? Because for people who might want to get into it, they might not know how that works. Um, well, see the numbers on the screen, see the amount of followers, and then meeting people at shows, and it's really communicating with people that really want to come into the industry. You know, get their license, get in a truck, get on the road, and uh, it's everyone's different. Like everyone gets into it for different reasons and in different ways. But it's when you meet people and you know you just try to help them along. Well, you've got a massive subscriber base of uh, thirty-five thousand. You're claiming on the, the truck brochure. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunately not me. That's uh, ah. <laughs> right, wrong. <laughs> you, is, is it eight? Eight thousand? Twelve. Twelve. Well, there we are. We were somewhere in the middle, but uh, it's growing all the time. Oh, it's growing massively. It's. Uh, I, I did. I find when I put a video up of me messing up, to be fair, like you've got to show the rough of the smooth, and uh, it just skyrocketed from there. So yeah, people like to see the mistakes. So what do you do in your full-time job? Uh, full-time job, run South Wales, up to North East, down to Dover, all over the country basically, just uh, flat work. Could... It mix loads that you're hauling? No, generally the same thing. Uh, usually it's uh, product farms, or dust, or empty pallets. Yeah. And what, what are you driving when you're out there? Uh, currently I drive MAN, TGX, XLX car, 580 horsepower. So... You like it? Uh, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm paid to drive, so I'll drive it. Absolutely. What, what, are, what are your ambitions in the trucking world? Uh, hopefully, I'd like to get out to Europe at some point, maybe do a bit of heavy haulage if someone will give me the chance. Yeah. Make sure your paperwork's right from the end of October. <laughs> you might not get over there. Anyway, thanks for having a chat to us, Scott. Thank you very much indeed. And finally, last but certainly not least, it's Trucker J. It's Trucker J who's got 35,000 followers, isn't it, mate? Almost. Just under that, but yeah, close enough. Close enough, absolutely. And how are things going for you? Absolutely fantastic. It's been a good year for me. It's uh, doing the videos. There's a little short break and they've come back to it, so it's going well. Whatever got you into it in the first place? Because you were one of the early adopters of this, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was one of the very, very, very first uh, YouTubers to do it. Uh, I just started doing it because I thought um, I, had, I had some questions, I had some concerns. Uh, I was worried about different things of the job, and I thought, well, it mustn't just be me. And uh, I thought I'll do the videos and show it's, you know, show how the job is in real life. Of course, people get to comment on these videos. What do you think of the comments? And there's obviously good and bad in amongst there, isn't there? Yeah, there's this good and this bad. Uh, I ignore the bad um, and, and the good comments. It, it, sometimes it's uh, when they say, um, you've inspired me to get my license, and now they're a class one driver, and they're loving it, they've left their office job, and 
be able to change the life around just through watching our videos. It's, it's really good. That's right. I was talking to somebody yesterday who did have his own business. He was uh, doing printing and designing and all that sort of thing. And he just sort of gave it all up to drive a truck. And he just loves driving a truck. Uh, yeah, that sounds like FT. That's pretty much what he did. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if you find people that are enjoying their job, enjoying their trucking, and they also know a little bit about technology and would maybe like to join you guys as uh, a, a video blogger. How, how easy is it to get into it to start with? It's really simple to get in and start with. All you need is a camera phone and an internet connection. Create a YouTube account, create a, cha a channel, something catchy, and then just upload your content. You don't have to have any fancy editing software. As you progress and as you want to improve your videos, then you can start investing a little bit more if you get popular and uh, people want to watch the videos. So yeah, it's, it's not too difficult. And the thing with the editing software as well, you can start with a basic setup and then work up from there, can't you, if you find that you really enjoy it? Yeah, there's lots of free ones out there, and at first I never used to edit, so I used to record in sequence on my phone and just upload that directly. That's a really good way to do it, actually, because you, you get what you you get when you start off with it, don't you? Yeah, exactly. This, uh, you know, any, any mistakes, you just delete it and start again. So what's the future for you guys? You know, is this going to grow and grow? Uh, yeah, well, since we um, kind of joined, joined forces and became the, the road legends, um, we've been uh, asked, invited to many different uh, truck shows now, um, lots of manufacturers uh, wanting to get on board and help, and help us do our content which we want to put out there, so any, any new technology that comes out we're keen to uh, get that on video and, and get it out there to everyone on YouTube. Now do any of you guys work for yourself? Uh, no, we're all employed. So how do your employers feel about you doing this sort of thing? Uh, well, my employer is fine with it. Um, they can, they, from, from their point of view, they can see exactly what I'm doing at any time. <laughs> But yeah, they said they're quite on board with because they they know that's the future. It's social media for any company, um, and if you if you don't adopt that, then you kind of be left behind. And are they supportive of you coming away for weekends to do this sort of thing as well? Uh, yeah, they're fine with it. Yeah, no problem at all. Find the flag for them. Now remind me where you're based again. Uh, I'm currently based in Warrington, uh, Appleton Farm. So you're going back after this weekend, going straight back? Uh, no, no, I'm driving to Spain. Wow! <laughs> what in your truck? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in my car, I'm on a holiday, uh, and then I'll be back in about a week's time, back to work. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for having a chat to us today. i just come back to you, Kev. Where have you got to go back to today? Uh, I'm just heading back to, uh, to Dorchester, so yeah. Our... Just down the road, that's very nice, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, it's my local show, that's why I like coming to Shepton Mall. It's nice and local for me, and I uh, see a lot of uh, friendly faces, familiar faces. Now, you're working in, or out of Cardiff now, where are you actually living? Uh, just outside Cardiff, first of Monarch. So you've moved, did you move up there then, did you? Because you were working for Keywells, or? No, when I was working for Keywells, I was based in Newport, so it was it's 20 minutes down the road, so it's, uh, it's not too bad. Pretty good, so not far for you to go. If you come over this way a little bit, because as I get over there, it's starting to squill a bit. How far have you got to go home, mate? Eh? Uh, I'm from Swindon, so about a couple uh, Not too bad. Yeah, a couple of hours. This is relatively local as well, so all good. And? Uh, from West Wales, I am, so it's a good feel. So most of you are around this sort of way. Warrington is the one that's a little bit out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, he's the northerner. <laughs> I thought Manchester, but that's where I'm based, Warrington. Brilliant. Well, look, guys, it's really nice of you to come and have a little bit of a chat to us today. I hope you enjoyed it and you videoed it, and uh, maybe I'll see myself on YouTube later, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Give them a round of applause, guys. Lovely guys. If you want to go over and meet them more, uh, go on over. You see the commentary box over on the far side of the uh, main arena there and the guys around the other side underneath they've got uh, lots of stuff you've got flags you've got everything over there haven't you so that you'll see the guys and they've got uh, they'll have a chat to you tell you all about uh, vlogging great to see you guys thank you very much for coming over and good luck with everything keep it up keep it up it's great